What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with brand new WWE action figure news, and this does come to us on the morning of Elimination Chamber. So, I have been up watching the show, covering the show, whatnot. We're going to have a review up. I don't know if that review is going to go up before this video or after this video, man, but we did have a nice morning of wrestling, and I'm actually recording this, you know, before the show, but it may not be posted till after. But really excited for the show. Can't wait to watch it. However, man, we do have brand new WWE action figure news to discuss. Even though we had news yesterday, I told you. You guys that there's no way that that was the only news we had the top picks Rey Mysterio and the Coliseum Collection Wave 4 I figured there was a gallery there was a gallery it really wasn't posted they've been just posting it little by little on Instagram which I don't like I wish they would just put up the full gallery and let us go but nonetheless man here we are and we're going to cover all of the news here and discuss it and get into it man and we have some disappointing shish man gotta be real with you, you got some disappointing shish and we have a brand new dubbed figure which we're going to get into and I'm going to explain everything man but getting into the first thing man so as you guys know we have the WWE Basic Series, right? The WWE Basic line has been the longest running line or one of the, you know, longest running lines in Mattel's WWE action figure history, right? So this has been a line that has been super successful, about 140-something series so far, man. But starting in WWE Basic Series 147, so WWE Basic Series 146, that will be the last time that the figures are called the Basic line. So we do have a little excerpt here from Mattel or Steve from Mattel here. It says WWE basics have been anything but basic since their articulation upgrade. So we thought it was time for a more fitting name. These main event level figures are now the WWE main event series. WWE main event series 147 consists of Seth freaking Rollins, the phenomenal AJ Styles, the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase in his Money Inc. entrance suit for the first time ever, as well as a chase in his classic green suit. First time on the line, Katana Chance and more. Look for the WWE Main Event Series 147 this summer. Hashtag WWE Main Event. Hashtag WWE Elite Squad. They're getting rid of the basic name and they are renaming the series the Main Event Series, which is very interesting. Very interesting development right here. I will say I think basics, you know, basics, I don't know. I'm still going to call them basics. I will still refer to them as that um, unless it's like a specific instance, you know, but it's just much easier to call them basic figures, right? But we do have this new basic series right here. And I mean, this set is what it is, man. You get four figures. You have Seth Rollins, which is a pretty cool looking basic. I would have loved to seen that in elite form. You have his white, black, and gold gear. Very cool figure. I like the head sculpt. It seems like the hair is better painted than his last basic figure, but it seems to be a cool figure, I think, in my own personal opinion. I think it looks pretty solid, you know, uh, uh, the different images that I see there. We also have an AJ Styles figure that actually looks quite good. It's kind of weird with the gloves being red and then the attire being the black and silver, but this black and silver attire with this head sculpt actually looks really damn good. I'm really, I don't know, I really like this. I like this. AJ Styles figure and again you know basics men have really upgraded I can really see me picking up a lot more basics and I've already in 2024 and the end of 2023 I want to say it was just the beginning of 2024 though I have picked up a lot of basics so far this year on toy hunts on random things man so these basics the basic improvement I think it may have been an investment up front like getting those figures changed and whatnot may have been a costly thing for Mattel but at the end of the day those figures are going to be much more sought after I think a lot of people are going to buy more basics and it's going to in turn the the investment is going going to be worth it because of so much turnaround and so much pull that they're going to have now on shelves. So, and I know they're, they're one of the most successful lines anyway. I think Basics have sold more than any Elites and Ultimates. There's more of them. They're a cheaper price point. Little Timmy goes down the aisle. He sees the Basic of John Cena. Bam! Got him right there. Don't have to spend the extra 20 bucks or 10 bucks or what have you. So there is that. But the next figure in the set is going to be the Ted DiBiase in his Money Inc. gear. Looks amazing. I love a good bow tie, man. Anytime I wear a tie, it's always with a bow tie. I don't know if you guys knew that but yes I, I'm always open for a good bow tie but it looks clean as hell love the black suit and the green suit definitely going to be trying to get both of these for sure and it's a damn good head sculpt I do believe it's kind of a true effects version of a previously released Ted DiBiase head sculpt I could be wrong about that it may be a brand new head sculpt it actually is I think a brand new head sculpt but it looks money you can't argue with the money right there man that figure looks really damn good liking the Ted DiBiase and then Katana Chance Katana Chance looking pretty good as well her her first figure ever also looks really damn good so I, I like always getting first time in the line females. I don't like the attire. The attire is very flat, but I don't know. Women's figures and women's figures in basics specifically are just so flat. I just feel like they don't have any dimension to them. They just look like, like the head sculpts look really good for the most part, but then from their neck down, it's just they, they have no deco. They just look like so flat. They look like a Dollar Tree toy. Like, look at these men's figures compared to these women's figures and tell me I'm wrong. In my in my opinion, I think the women's figures lack a lot for some reason. They just don't have the, they don't have the deco that the men's do and they kind of, they just fall flat a lot of the times. But anyways, man, next up, we do have an interesting 
interesting development here, man. If you guys were unaware, in 2K24, you guys remember in 2K23, they had the Ruthless Aggression Elite John Cena figure that was able, uh, able to be purchased, right? You could purchase the John Cena Elite figure, or you could, you know, I think if you bought it, it came with a QR code or something that you could download, and you could put that John Cena Elite figure in the 2K23 video game. Well, in 2024, you can play as the ringside exclusive Defining Moments Bruise Torn Pet Cody figure, and it just looks so crazy, man. It's so funny, and somebody actually tagged me. This was so funny, man. If you look at his neck, and then you look at his head sculpt, it says even 2K knew that the tattoo's not supposed to go on the head, and you can see that the tattoo doesn't go onto the head sculpt on the figure in the video game, and in real life, it does go onto the head and the neck, and the thing that I talk about all the time where the tattoo's way too damn close to the ear, somebody tagged me in that, and I thought that that actually made me cackle out loud, so that was hilarious, so... That is, uh, that is good stuff right there, but I really enjoy the... Uh, that Defining Moments Cody is one of my favorite Mattels of all time. It got the second best figure of the year last year, and it is so damn good. It's just, you can't discuss it, man. It's just so good. It's unreal how good that figure is, but you can't play as that. You can play as that in the game now if you want to do that. It's, uh, you know, it, it's a cool gimmick. I think it's it's a unique thing. Not going to set the world on fire, but it is a cool thing. I, I like it. I think it's unique for sure, but we also have a look at the new WWE Elite Monday Night War series number two man this is gonna make me vomit into the floor man this is this is just awful right here man let's go ahead and discuss it man He's pulling it up man if you guys were unaware so the filthy animals Rey mysterio the filthy animals Rey mysterio with the overalls and everything coming that was supposed to be in this set, man, is no longer happening. I know, just awful. Just atrociousness across the board. Cannot believe that we're not getting this figure. And they didn't tell us about it, man. They did not tell us about it. They were just trying to, you know, just ease on past, didn't really bring it up. And I mean, I guess they don't have to come out and say that it's getting, you know, getting replaced or what have you. Instead, just reveal the figures and, you know, at least they'll show off some new stuff. And the figure they replaced it with is not the worst figure of all time, but we got to break down the lore right here, man. So Filthy Animals Rey Mysterio no longer coming that was one of my most anticipated figures of the year this year no longer getting that figure but they replaced it with this pink and black attire Rey Mysterio Elite now the lore gets deeper man the conspiracy theory the iceberg it goes deeper right here man this Rey Mysterio figure right here this Rey Mysterio figure if you look at it this is the crowdfund Rey Mysterio ultimate edition that we were going to get with our nitro stage on the crowdfunder it was a part of that deal so if you compare the two side by side, you guys can clearly see it is an elite figure form Rey Mysterio of that Ultimate Edition. Well, you guys know that ultimately, pun intended, that project failed. We didn't get the Rey Mysterio. We didn't get the Nitro stage. Still makes me sick every single day I think about it. Keeps me up late at night. That Rey Mysterio and that project did not fund. So I guess to make up for Filthy Animals Rey being also changed or canceled or unreleased, which I don't understand. I, I just, I don't know if, why they didn't approve it. Maybe it was the devil horns or the horns on the head or maybe Rey Mysterio didn't want a figure of him unmasked out there. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I mean, there's no telling. I, I, maybe I can get some background information on that one day, but they have now replaced that figure with that crowdfunding figure. And I am dubbing this Rey Mysterio. This, this Rey Mysterio is now going to be dubbed the cursed crowdfund Rey for me. This Monday Night Wars Elite Wave 2 Rey Mysterio is going to be Cursed Crowdfund Ray. CCR. I mean, man, anything that revolves around this attire or this version of Ray Mysterio is cursed, man. You try to put him in the Ultimate Edition line, doesn't happen, doesn't come to fruition. We're supposed to get a different Ray, doesn't come to fruition. So they put this, this attire is tied to two different terrible controversies here with our WWE Elite figures, man. So that, that stinks, man. That is ultimately just trash. I cannot believe that this took place, man. Just an ungodly thing that happened here. I'm acting like my freaking face was set on fire. It's not that big of a deal, but it sucks, man. Somebody said, is this not a good thing in your opinion or whatever? And they said, you know, is this figure, is this a bad figure or what have you? And it's like, no, I mean, the figure's not bad. It's still a really good pink Rey Mysterio early on. You know, it's a solid figure to add to our collections. It's going to be a fantastic figure to pose around. It's Rey freaking Mysterio. It's on the newer Elite body. It's the mo it's a throwback Rey on the modern Elite style where he's, you know, he's, he's got the tights on instead of the baggy pants, what have you. It's going to feel fantastic. It's going to, it's a good figure. It's just a significant downgrade to me is is what how I see it but getting into the rest of the figures in the set man we do have Kevin Nash really looking forward to this figure I like this figure a lot man I like the hair pieces with the hat I like the watch this Kevin Nash figure right here checks the boxes for me it's basically I mean I love that he's shirtless underneath too because this is basically like kind of repainting or redoing the body mold of the Elite 107 Undertaker or the Ringside 
exclusive Undertaker is pretty much what this is. So that's pretty cool there. You can fix that thing up. You can put some different NWO shirts on there. It's just a lot you can do with there. You know, uh, look at the adjective. Lots of stuff going on there. I really, really do like the Kevin Nash figure. That's a figure that's going to be very, very nice. And it's probably my second favorite figure in the set when you look at the entire set as a whole. But we also have Triple H here. This Triple H is, you know, it's a Legends Triple H and it's a repaint of that figure. You're not going to set the world on fire by any stretch, but it is another Triple H to add to the collection. I like the red and black attack. Looking pretty damn good. I like, you know, the, the Triple H is up there in the front right there. I mean, the green's much better. The Legends is much better, but the figure feels really good in hand. It's on ball joints. It's buttery smooth. So hopefully this one will have the exact same, you know, effect and whatnot. And we also have Fake Diesel. And Fake Diesel is pretty solid. You know, it's a very unique, funny figure. I think the head sculpt looks damn good. I think they did a really good job there. Not a figure that I would have ever expected to get from Mattel, but, you know, we did see the grayed out, you know, grayscale render, but head sculpt looks good. I think the body looks good. It's it's certainly, it's certainly a figure, isn't it? No, but seriously, though, it's it's solid, you know. I, I mean, it's basically another diesel figure. They just switched out the head sculpt, you know, in terms of everything else. I'm pretty sure they're using the exact same formula as a diesel figure, so I guess it works there. But the main event attraction, I think, in this set, now that Rey Mysterio is gone, is going to be the Build-A-Figure Teddy Long, man. Look at this referee figure, man. Look at this damn referee figure. That is a beautiful looking Teddy Long, man. I love the head sculpt. I love the referee shirt. You guys know this is actually going to be our second referee that we're getting here this year. You know, we're getting John Cone, the SummerSlam Elite Wave. We're getting this Teddy Long figure right here, which looks really damn good. Uh, Build-A figures are tough, man, because I try to add, I can never add extra Build-A figures because the, I can never find the full pieces of these figures at retail. And then, you know, certain Build-A figures I don't want multiples of anyway, but this Teddy Long is amazing. This is a must have right here. This is a must have. Probably going to get two of these, one to make into a referee for real, and then obviously to have my Teddy Long. And then we're going to use that head sculpt to make a GM Teddy Long or something like that, even though I know we got the Builder figure way long ago. Really need an upgrade to that. Dude, how sick would it have been to have the Ruthless Aggression Elise? You could have done Builder figure Eric Bischoff, Builder figure Ruthless Aggression Teddy Long. Could have done so many different damn things, man, but I really like this Teddy Long figure. But that is the full Builder figure set for the Monday Night Wars line, man. And I do believe that's all the news. So they kind of released, you know, I don't think there's going to be anything put up. You know, they had Coliseum Collection Wave 4. They had the Top Picks Elites. They had the Main Event Series Basics. They had this Monday Night Wars Elite set, number two, what have you. And I do believe that's going to be all of the news, not only today, but I do believe that's the full gallery for February. And you guys know in March, we'll also get a gallery. And then at, in April, we're going to get the damn reveals at WrestleMania, which I hope to be there for, which is going to be insane. Cannot wait for that, man. That was such an insane time. I have a full hour-long vlog of my experience from WrestleMania last year. If you guys just are chilling one day, go check that out. It's kind of a different take on, on different videos. You know, it's not, it's, it's it, the vlogs we do on the channel between, you know, these different pay-per-views are way different than anything else we do on the channel. So they're really fun to make. And you know, they're that vlog style content and just kind of cutting it up, walking around and covering my experience at these events, man. So if that's something that interests you, definitely check that out. Really fun. Can't wait to do it again this year, man. It's going to be epic to see all the figures and we're going to interview Mattel. We're going to cover all of the figures. It's going to be excellent. So hopefully we can figure all of that stuff out, man. But I do believe that is all the action figure news that I have for you today, man. I'm about to gear up and watch Elimination Chamber. So let's shut the hell up and get the hell out of here. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you fellows over there, man. Thank you guys so very much for all of your continued support. They've been getting some really cool stuff over there, man. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely go check that out over there, man. But I greatly appreciate all those fellows over there. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.